just a land back in a Jamaica from St. Vincent. Now, you're wrong, somebody don't know come over here. I'm going to get this one from my picnic. Them. Oh. Yo! Reggae Media TV, Father Dan, everything we bad. And we mad at Dan, everything we mad. Scratch, so bless up people once again. Good morning. Hope you all having a wonderful day so far. Keep the day productive. May God bless each and every one watching this right now. But anyway, it's like some people have a problem with a lot of us vloggers speaking about Vibes Cartel a lot in the media of lately. But me realize since Vibes Cartel release, a lot of artists we not see them a post, we not see them a drop, nothing at all, no song or anything. So we just featuring what we see in the media like this right here. I'm about to get into where Sting announced that their Facebook page, which has over 31,000 followers, has been hacked. Yes, people, so we're gonna get into an article from Yard Hype. As you can see, following the announcement that Vibes Cartel will be keeping his first show in December, a buzz has been generated around the name Sting online in recent weeks, with many persons suggesting that the show will be unsuccessful because of most people will be going to Vibes Cartel's concert. In a recent interview with the Jamaica star, the promoters of Sting expressed that the DJ should have chosen another month. Furthermore, it was suggested that the artist perform a night on Sting since the show is expected to run for three nights this year. The most recent news surrounding the most popular dancehall show on earth is that one of its social media pages was hacked. Our Facebook page has been hacked. At 30k followers, posts being made are out of control. A statement from Sting, as you can see right here. So, moving along, the next topic right here as investigations underway into murder of JDF soldier. We see him family express their sadness on the news recently. Condolence to the family. January. So right here, the deceased JDF soldier has been identified as 21-year-old Private E.J. Domville. Private Domville was shot and killed in an alleged confrontation with armed men in the Charles Street and Chestnut Lane area. So after a wonderful trip over there in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Vibes Cartel is back in Jamaica as you can see. It's recording. It's recording? Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know. We just land back in Jamaica from St. Vincent. Yeah. Don't know the iconic man and Samuels. I want that. All right. I sat around on one part. I fell around on one part. Bad trainer. Two beautiful ladies right here in the middle. Harris. Oh. And London. Oh. No. <laughs> we out. So while Vibes Cartel jet back to Jamaica, we see Shorty over the other side and me no know when the people them are gonna stop come at Shorty. Recently, we see Shorty overseas, I think somewhere in Canada and she went live. This time around, Shorty did have to diss up some people upon her live brawling people still coming at her about Vibes Cartel but this time around, they mentioned something about her kids, even one of her son. I could and them a ask how them not see him. Check this out. Yeah, my ship everywhere. My ship go everywhere. Good night. Um, sensitive skin. Um, if your skin that sensitive, I recommend the face cream because the body cream is stronger than the face cream. Oh, 
know your order go on go on Instagram. Well, and let me do the post of the tourists. Instagram, Boss Lady Skin Cream. Banjo, you go person. You gave me sell cream. Long time now. May I ignore your question? What was. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What, what, what question may I ignore? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm ship everywhere. Where's your third son? My third son, yeah, my yard. Listen. Why everybody keep on ask where is Icodan? Icodan? Several brothers, several different mine. My baby, they do social media. My baby doing book and playing game, okay? All prices depend on the, um, the page. My baby, now do social media. <coughs> your mama, and your mama, it. Now wrong, somebody don't know come over here. We would just want to from pick them. Oh. They, they make it now. They make it now. They don't have ready. We must feel like that. Everybody love excitement and media. Someone could not go beard. Sure, as I was saying, when I can't go on a page, you know, some of them have to just get look at answer because some of them want to be them throats. So, when I smell them through the phone, yeah, my ship. So Bugle calls out the Jamaica star for post of Amari bashing vibes cartel. So on Friday, the Jamaica star shared an audio of Amari detailing her views on vibes cartel not releasing new music and Kiss King status. According to Amari, vibes cartel needs to fly for the king's position and she's willing to challenge. She stated, what about the entertainment? The people have been waiting for the music. I don't think that Vibes Cartel should just come out of jail and get back on the dancehall seat. He needs to fight for that position. I want him to take off the dark glasses, look me in the eyes, and spit lyrics. Despite her latest comments, the USA based dancehall personality has shared mixed views on Vibes Cartel, having recent fantasize about taking over Sidem's spot and performing on his upcoming show. Nevertheless, her latest demand is for him to walk through the ghettos of Jamaica. Yes, people, so, you know, it's like Bugle, we say, put out a post right here, tagging Jamaica star saying, me drop a new album today. It is too positive for you people to talk about it. He question. <laughs> well, it's like some people are say Amaria tries to stay relevant, and you know this are one of the things where people are talking about too. You see, the Queenie and Amari thing were going to sting. Some people were disapprove of it, and you know leading up to Sting and the Vibes Cartel concert controversy, we see some people are draw for that, saying that Sting went wrong when them decide Amari and the Queenie did have a clash on the show. You know that was a big joke thing since sting up in the media a lot of people speaking about it along with the controversial you know event along with it vibes cartel concert but as we mentioned sting we see footer hyper call out mc nuffy saying that oh him so quiet oh him not talk about vibes cartel and sting show he's like mc nuffy been off the radar because mc nuffy him always their own vibes cartel, always a support vibes cartel, yet still, him always a support sting, 
big supporter of Sting. He's like a part of Sting family. So Futa hype, I say MC Nuffy notice of lately. MC Nuffy not talk about nothing since the whole controversy kick off about Sting and Vibes Cartel show. What about Nuffy? You're not defend Sting. How many of you must say nothing? Throw a cartel versus thing now and thing versus cartel. Nothing nice so enough. <laughs> Nothing. You have to come answer these charges in you know? here. Nothing. You have to come answer these charges. Nothing. Cool is some go on. Nothing come answer these charges. Come. When may I look into me, I say, blood clad. How many years nothing you say nothing about thing? In a all of the cut. So the people must say, I want to have nothing free of the cartel. Ah, what? Nothing. I can't answer the question them fear, you know, brother. Yo! Reggae Media TV. Bada done. Everything we bad. Are we mad done? Everything we mad. Subscribe now. You hear that?